because the English department is really, really friendly with one another. Like, we're, we're all pretty much friends with each other as well as colleagues, which is what makes it cool to work in our department. <laughs> uh, well, I'm very lucky to work with a lot of great people here, so I, um, with a lot of people I consider friends, but uh, I'm gonna, I'll focus on one today. I, 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 I feel like Mr. Odahall and Ms. Patel and Mr. Mitchell are a very close friend of mine. Who would you consider part of your clique? I think Mr. Willard yesterday said that um, <laughs> we don't really consider it that exact term, but um, yeah, it's I think a group of friends. Yeah, I think Mr. Wilbur, a, he's a ringleader, and um, him and Mr. Mitchell have kind of this like bromance thing going. Um, Mr. Odahall gets thrown in there sometimes, but I'd like to consider myself kind of just like the tag along to the fun. How did you guys all become friends? Um, mostly out of pity for Mr. Mitchell, um, he, uh, he, he was kind of like, you know, would eat lunch by himself and, and all that, so we, um, we kind of took him under our wing, and, and he's from Atlanta, and so the culture was just so different for him up here. You know, he didn't know what soda was, and, and he he'd only, all he ate was Chick-fil-A, and so we had to actually, like, feed him kind of like, uh, like with an eyedropper for a while to get him, like, used to other types of food, so we would puree, like, apricots and use baby food, and that's the way that he, uh, he sort of became you know, the man that he is today. Um, so science is one of the closest departments, so we're all really good friends, but some of us, I mean, uh, like Mr. Ludovis and Mr. Brig, we started here together the same year, which mm -hmm. is like 28 years ago. Uh, we had all our kids at the same time, so our kids have played together, and they've <laughs> known each other since they were babies. So, you know, that's sort of a special friendship. You guys ever do things outside of school? Yeah, um, so sometimes we'll, you know, like go hang out at the library, um, because we're, you know, teaching geography, <laughs> and uh, so it's it's really um, we really like take our service very seriously, uh, and and we feel like if we can change one life, that will have a ripple effect that will uh, help out economic students all over the country. Okay, uh, who's your least favorite teacher? Ooh, my least favorite <laughs> teacher. Wow. Mm, yeah, I mean, you know, maybe. Yeah, I, I mean. You sort of start to resent people if you if you help them over and over and over and over again, and, and so I, I, I do my best to bottle that resentment up. But but um, yeah, sometimes you know Mr. Mitchell just you know gets on your nerves. He, you know he, he's just it's all about graphs, and he, you know you just can't communicate in graphs alone. So when you have a problem or anything like that, it's just nice to be able to go to talk to somebody and maybe get a different perspective outside mm -hmm. of your department. So I think it gives you more perspective. And like I said, it just yeah, the more people you're in touch with, it just feels like the building is closer. Yeah. And you're not just one little small area onto yourself. Like, in all seriousness, like, I love the people that I work with. And, like, we support each other and we help each other out. And, and you know, whether it's, like, you know, eating lunch together or, or you know, you know, hanging out. Like, it's, like, this place is what it is because the people here are so, are so awesome.